Yes, we will have our normal Good News Monday uh, edition with Larry Goldberg later, but the news was way too big to hold off on. Elon Musk has just uh, put up on X, he's just posted on X, that the neural link, the first neural link has been implanted in a human patient. The human patient, the, the patient's doing fine, recovering nicely, and they have neural, neural activity. They have spikes showing a day later. This is world breaking news. I don't know whether the <laughs> the traditional press will cover this as a massive go to war headline, but there's nothing, hardly anything you can think of that can compare to the uh, amazing potential for what the neural link opportunities are out there. Um, whether that goes to curing blindness in some people, whether it goes to curing deafness, whether it comes to curing uh, paralysis, uh, anything that is uh, a neural d disability, whether an accident, whether at birth, my understanding is all of those things are options that are uh, available, in, potentially available to be worked on. We also have things that are way beyond that. So uh, we get into some of the scary stuff like superhuman capabilities. Now, remember the basis of what Elon Musk is trying to do here. He feels that general artificial intelligence will eventually make machines, including uh, Optimus and other and other uh, uh, machines that are embedded in equipment, make them smarter than humans, faster. Uh, you know, whether or not smarter, because that implies some kinds of abilities in terms of creativity, but faster at computating whatever it might be, and therefore seemingly smarter. And as that computational ability gets better and better and better, it might It'll never turn into pure creativity in my personal and humble opinion, but it may turn into something that mimics that and would allow people to, uh, these robots and these voices, et cetera, to seem so human-like that it would be impossible to, uh, for the normal person, for the average person to be able to tell the difference and maybe even for experts to tell the difference. So his concept is, is that if you provide the humans with a neural link, with a dime-sized object that has a bunch of uh, of uh, wires that go down into your brain and hook you up, you could now actually be one with your machine. Uh, my wife and I joke commonly that we are already one with this machine. And so it's not so sh shocking that we might become more, even more one with the machine than we are now, but that we would basically at that point be able to at our discretion, be hooked up to the internet to be able to uh, correspond in some ways with uh, the the uh, artificial intelligence to be able to use that capability to be able to turn us into a kind of superhuman, to be able to keep up with artificial intelligence. That's the basis of the company. But in the meantime, like with so many things, the technology will immediately potentially be able to help various folks who have uh, disabilities that are based on injuries, based on uh, problems they've had with illnesses, based on stuff that they may have been born with. All of these potentials are there to improve their lives dramatically with this technology. And today is the first time it has been implanted in a human. Uh, for some people, this will be a scary day uh, in terms of the future. Uh, for some people, this will be an amazing day, just like any other scientific breakthrough that's going to help people to live a better life. Anyway, I couldn't wait to put this video out. This is something that, uh, you know, we didn't even know was coming. Came just a little bit short while ago. I thought I should put this video up right away. Please come in in just about, an, about two hours from now at about five o'clock California time. Larry Goldberg and I have a, a jam-packed program of telling you this is this is incredible, but we have a lot more coming on that program. I think you're not going to want to miss it. So come on later and check that out. Uh, and as always, it's been great talking to you.